Sounds of the Season is our holiday uh, concert that we do here at Franklin Central. It is a conglomeration of band, choir, orchestra. Uh, we have a lot of theater kids helping out with the technical aspect, so it's, it really is a full department endeavor putting on the show. This is the 13th annual. Before that, my first year teaching here, we had three separate performances going on in December. And so this is kind of uh, putting together two out of those three, and we've really uh, upped the production value of originally what was there as kind of a traditional concert that we had, and now it's turned into more of a, a spectacular instead of just a, a concert. The band's been involved with Sounds of the Seasons since it began, I believe 13 years ago. Um, the role of the band program has changed over the course of those 13 years. I know when I started here at FC six years ago, it was uh, just one of the bands performing with one of the orchestras in the second act. Um, since then, we've expanded to add the jazz band to do their own set, and then that's evolved into the jazz band splitting out to be the backup bands for all of the choir songs. So almost every musical number of Sounds of the Season now incorporates a band member in it. We sold out about two weeks ago, so that's roughly 4,700 seats. It involves a lot of people. So just at the high school alone, you're looking at about 400 students. And then each show, when you're bringing in the elementary schools and intermediate and junior high, it, it comes to about another 100 students beyond that that are at the high school. So each show is somewhere between 450 uh, and 500 students performing on each one. I think Sounds of the Season sells out most years because people want to see it. I think it's an entertaining show. Uh, I think people are, are in the mood for seeing talented students in Franklin Central celebrating their talents. Um, and I think that the public likes watching that. At FC, our show choirs compete in February and March as show choirs. Some of our concert choirs compete during February and March as well. Then we compete our concert choirs for state qualifiers and hopefully state finals in April and the beginning of May. The show choirs compete several times throughout the year, about five or six different competitions. We also host one here at Franklin Central. We have our concert choirs go to a few competitions each year as well. And then at the end of the season, we get to compete our concert choirs in ISMA for concert choir state qualifications and concert choir state finals. We've always done things a little bit differently. Um, the thing about orchestra is that there's only one competing circuit, um, and that is for full symphony, uh, which means that if you want to, to get involved in that stuff, you have to build a tradition, which we're still in the process of doing right now. But um, our groups, uh, beyond the going to state quals thing, have uh, placed with gold ratings you know, every year that I've been here, at least one group, if not more. Um, and before that, you know, that continues back you know, at least a decade. This is for me year five, but, um, and I think we've had the program for about 20 years, so at least 10 to 15 of the last years we've been pulling you know, top ratings, and so we're, we're doing our best to make some moves around here. So there's always some kind of competition going on, whether that's a solo and ensemble, where we have one person uh, going in and getting judged and receiving a rating, um, or a small ensemble of maybe 10 brass players. That's coming up in February. We've got three different winter guards that are performing throughout the winter season. Uh, indoor percussion group of about 56 people that's competing um, all the time through the winter, not to mention the obvious marching band throughout the fall. Every year there are uh, contests around the Indianapolis area that we go to. A lot of schools with show choir programs also have a contest that they host to uh, work as a fundraiser for their program. So a lot of times you'll find us at Pike or Ben Davis or Fishers or uh, other schools in the area. And then every once in a while we'll do a trip to kind of get like national experience where we're meeting groups from California, from Georgia, from Virginia, from Massachusetts. Well, it's really nice to see your friends that you get to see frequently in the Indianapolis area. It's really cool to see some groups that you've never seen before. Uh, to see the flavor of show choir is very different across the country. What makes it special is we, we are very fortunate to have a lot of incredibly dedicated kids that this is something that they have found a passion. They will work incredibly hard. The amount of time that they will put in for after school rehearsals while still doing all their homework or having an after school job, it, it's, it's incredible to see how hard they will work 
and to know that that then applies to later on in life where you might get really busy, but you, you can get over that part and you can apply that to life beyond just being on the stage. A big thank you to the community and our parents. A production like Sounds of the Season, it can't just happen with the high school directors. It, it takes a small army of people. So much happens that I can't even begin to count the dozens of parents and community members that have gone in to help with the show. And just a huge thank you to them.